I'm going to start out with some year-end to-do list items, and um, some of these items were swiped out of the Illinois Association of Realtors uh, DR newsletter end-of-year to-do list, although a lot of that pertains to the brokerage management stuff. So um, you, can, you can reference that um, if you want to see exactly where this stuff came from, but Steve Bohenik, IAR's chief legal counsel, um, wrote that article. So the items that are of interest to our entire agent population um, would be a change regarding termination um, provisions in listing agreements. So what has been the, the issue in the license law historically for us with regard to termination dates? Don't all answer at once. Date specific. Can't be can't be uh, into perpetuity or auto renewing. It has to have a specific date certain at which the listing agreement term will end. However, that is inconsistent with common practice in certain segments outside of residential stuff. So specifically commercial and land deals, it's not uncommon, uh, especially for stuff that is commonly on the market for multiple years. Not uncommon in the industry to have an auto renewal provision with an annual right to opt out. So in other words, much like a lot of our leases would have, you have the right every year to serve a 30-day notice to terminate the listing, so you're not held hostage forever, but you don't have to renew the listing documents in the absence of that notice of termination. So it doesn't affect us for a typical residential deal, but since many of our folks will occasionally do a commercial or land deal, and we have a few that do a lot of it, it's still something worth mentioning. But don't, don't assume because there's a change in that, that that works for residential, it is specifically limited to commercial and land. So here is the, um, and this will all be in the um, PowerPoint presentation that uh, I can email out to everybody, but here's the actual text of what Steve had written about it. So commercial listings, property management, or farm management agreements. 